Hi, I wanted to show you a demo of uh, ArcJS Online running on a mobile on a mobile device. Um, this is actually running in a web browser on an Android tablet. Um, the, uh, we could just as easily convert this over to something which is uh, an installable application as well. Remember that Flex has the ability to be uh, converted to something that can be installed on not only Android devices but also iOS and uh, Playbook as well. Oh, sorry, BlackBerry as well. So anyway, in this case, we're just gonna we're just gonna talk about uh, this web map, which is being again pulled from ArcGIS Online. As you can see, it's fully interactive. Wanted to focus on editing in this case. A lot of people have approached us talk, wanting to know about how they can edit uh, ArcGIS server via a mobile device. So people working in the field or updating um, the attributes of particular features or adding new features, etc deleting existing features. Uh, want to, they want to do that on their mobile devices. So this is a demo of that. Um, this is actually just point data in uh, Beirut which we're going to use to demo. So at the minute we're not in edit mode so we can actually hit uh, hit some of these areas here. Um, oh that jumped. And we'll just see the attributes of that particular feature. Um, let's just close that. We'll hit a point. And there's the, then there we are. We can zoom into that feature as well. So that's just the standard way. If you're on ArcGIS.com or you're using the Flex View or any other web viewer, you'd you'd want to see the the attributes of a particular feature. Um, let's just pan over. Let's now set the edit it set into editing mode. So by tapping the button in the bottom corner, that gives us now the ability to add points. So I'm going to add one on, on, over the C, so it's easy for you to to see. And as you can see, there is that point added. So we've now um, updated the map to uh, to include a, a new feature on that feature layer. Let's interrogate that feature. So let's just tap the point. These points are kind of small, so there we go. So what we've got there is actually a different window, as you saw, versus the last one. That's actually an edit window. So that gives us the ability to, and it's a new feature, so we actually haven't put any attributes in there. So if we wanted to add various attributes, the name, the place, we could do that. And that, and uh, the, hitting the close button would, uh, would then uh, add those uh, attributes to that particular feature. Now remember, we haven't yet updated ArcGIS Online with this stuff. This is all done, being done in the client, so any additions, any updates are being done in the client. So let's just close that. There's an ability in this window that's actually hidden both there, and I'm not actually going to show you that, to delete that feature as well. So, so we've got the ability to add, edit, and delete in this, uh, in this uh, application. Let's just tap that to close it. And the other thing that which is nice we can do here is move that. So let's just move that across. As you can see, that feature has now moved. So, so if we now um, had an option, and we, and we haven't included that here at the moment, but uh, we would just simply need to update the server with this information. And, and there is a particular function within within this uh, application that would allow us to to hit an OK, and we can batch push any edits that we've done on this feature layer to the server. So next time somebody opens up that, that, uh, this application they would see any of those features that are new, any of them have been edited, moved for example, and if they tapped on a point any updates would, would appear there as well. So dynamically updating the server is what this would be. And obviously this work lends itself well not only to online but also to offline and we've published videos on, uh, on doing on offline editing as well which follows a similar workflow. Thanks for watching.